Hi guys, and welcome back to another video. So I initially had something else planned for today, but um, I woke up today and I saw that D8 and June were on Who Alive again. So I want to draw them. Um, I'm gonna put the other idea that I had hopefully for Saturday's video, so I won't talk about it, but it's still 17 related, so yeah. Um, so the way how I usually do the Who Alive doodles i'm this is basically just me doing a sketching session and most likely i will end up painting them but um so i've done one of wanu and jonghan so wanu and jonghan like this and how i like to format this is that i like to do them in the front like just them together in the front first kind of like a greeting thing and then i will do usually assorted doodles usually two of each and yeah so that was jonghan and wanu and this one is Dogyam and Wanu, so yeah. As you can see, them together right here, and then kind of just separate ones, but I like to draw them at least like three each, so that we can keep them even. But yeah, I think I'm gonna follow this format again for D8 in June, just because I like kind of making these match. I think it's kind of cute to do kind of like a series of drawings. So I kind of want to do, yeah, this for June and D8. So I'm starting off with a square canvas and first thing I'm going to do is change the color to white and I'm going to use that grid brush, this one, as you can see, you can make like grids on your canvas. Obviously you should do everything in one stroke unless you want things to be like misaligned, um, but yeah, so I'm going to do this really quickly. I don't know how big I want the grids, I'm just going to roughly put this in. Now, I do have references on my phone that I took from Twitter because a lot of people took um, really cute screenshots of them during the live stream because their live stream happens like in the middle of the night for me. So that's like it's hard for me to catch a live stream since it would be like 4 a.m. for me, I believe. I'm actually gonna I'm gonna get rid of the grid for now and lay everything out and then we'll put back the grid after just it's because it's easier for me to draw on a like uncluttered canvas. So usually for these kinds of doodles, I do follow references to a certain extent. It's usually mostly for like poses and stuff. Sometimes they'll change their expressions or their poses a little bit to fit whatever I need to put into the composition, I guess. So like during my small break, so that I was taking where I didn't have to work on like any commissions or zine work or any store stuff. I've been mostly drawing 17 stuff, so it's kind of what I want to do right now. I'm going to try my best to keep these ones, like the main um, doodle or drawing of them. I guess the first one's usually not a doodle. It's usually more of a finished, like, finished colored piece of them. Yeah, so usually... For like more of my finished pieces, I don't usually add this deep shadow underneath where their necks and jaw is, like their jawline, I guess. Um, I usually only do that for my sketchier styles, so I did keep this one a little bit more sketchy compared to this one, I think. It's just for these four, I definitely kept it a little bit more simple, but yeah. I went back to listen to Bump of Chicken. I love their music so much. Like their whoever's the vocalist, I don't remember his name, but I really love his voice. So like I mentioned, I believe Saturday's video will be another draw with me. That or I might do another ASMR or um, non-talking session. But it is something 17 related because I am in a big 17 drawing mood at the moment. Because I haven't drawn anything today. So I kind of want to get some stuff done before I start working on other stuff. It's like a, like a sticker. Looks like a puffy sticker on him. I'm just gonna make it into a heart. I probably have to fix a lot of this when I'm coloring. At least I know I did that for like the other wall new one. This hair is a little flat and I keep wanting to fluff it. <laughs> so it looks a little bit less flat. It's 
want to erase some of these lines where I have his scalp. So we have June. I'm going to quickly throw in D8. Today's a bit weird. I don't know if my eye settled back in, but I don't know if people can relate to this. So if you have hooded eyelids, you know how like your eyes kind of like this. So let's say this is your eye. Right? So hooded eyelids are like this. Kind of like a layer of skin that's folded. Like this. And like I draw a lot of my eyes like this just because like I do have hooded eyelids and a lot of the 17 members also have hooded eyelids or they have double eyelids which look more like this. Right? For your eyelid. So mine, because it's a hooded eyelid, it's usually like this. But today I woke up and I have this happen a lot. Sometimes I have like a baby fold here and then I have my normal fold and it looks like that. And it always feels weird when I blink because I know it's not right because my fold is usually like this on my eye. <laughs> so if anyone who has hooded eyelids can relate to that, please let me know. I don't know if I'm just waking up incorrectly sometimes. They look very cozy. So June's in this really like thick black cardigan or navy blue cardigan and Minghao is like in this... He's wearing a turtleneck, a very like, um, cream or like beige turtleneck. And then he has like this thick, um, really cute, kind of like striped coat. And then he was wearing a, like a scarf as well. He looks so bundled up and it's so adorable. I love Ming Hao's hair. Like, even though I love, love, love his mullet hair, this, like, kind of shorter back length, but really long, kind of, like, front and side portions look really cute on him. I'm gonna see if I can find the picture, if I still have it on my phone, but sometimes... I don't realize this because sometimes when I'm drawing Masaki, I sometimes draw June the same way as I draw Masaki. And there's some photos of June that really look like Masaki sometimes. Either like it's his hair, the way they styled his hair, or um, the outfits he's wearing. Because I think out of more recent times, I feel like Mas or June wore more of like teal sweater kind of stuff she looks really cute but definitely reminds me of Masaki the it's so handsome I, I can't his hair is like glorious his fashion choice is glorious he's just glorious coat stick his hand in here probably end up fixing it a little bit more when I'm going to be doing the coloring portion. Hopefully it can fit. So alternatively I could scoot Ming how closer to June? Like this. Just so we have enough room for like a little Junie that can go here. Oh, I said I was gonna fill these in to be dark. Oh, does June also have an earring? 
She didn't notice that. I feel like usually he doesn't. Like he hasn't... For a couple of eras he hasn't worn earrings. And then sometimes he just... So I think I drew his hand wrong. I feel like I'm just drawing hands wrong incorrectly the entire time. <laughs> I'm gonna put an indication of Ming Hao on the side just because it is supposed to be Ming Hao and Jun for this song. <laughs> Make him look a little upset. <laughs> I'm a little confused. What I'm seeing is that he only actually only has one earring. So I'm gonna get rid of that second one. Face of disgust. He doesn't look like disgusted in the reference, so I think this is a little bit funnier. Since he is waving around that, like, um, is it called Tong Hulu? I've only eaten this thing once, so I don't know what exactly it's called. It's basically like candy, not how do I call it? Fruit that's like covered in solidified sugar or like hot syrup or something, and it's been solidified and sold like on a stick, like a skewer. Much of heat hands. It's a gigantic sleeve on this side. A lot of this probably won't make sense until I color it. So it's like a bunch of different lines, but I can probably put in the fruit. No, no, I don't know what fruit this is. I think it's supposed to be a it has like all this like hardened sugar and like syrup on it. I always like doing this with hair, like, kind of making a stray s strand of hair if it comes out. Especially if they're facing more of, like, free quarter view. Make June look excited. I probably have to put the Hula Live text over here. Just because there is this awkward amount of space between where the Tang Hulu thing and Ming Hao's face. like several Polaroids and then because Ming House is kind of um, more or less sitting there I don't mind if most of his body is like cut off 
Coloring is gonna take a while. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's gonna be difficult for me to edit this properly. I'm gonna have to cut out quite a bit of stuff, so I hope you guys don't mind me probably getting rid of most of the base coloring. If you are interested on how I do majority of my base coloring and stuff, you can probably watch like previous videos. Just because I would like to keep most of the rendering part in. a little bit more happier. Okay, so I'm gonna write who alive up here. I don't know if I like that. Put... Uh, I should put D8 first, I guess. Writing is not my strong suit, so I don't know how I want to do this. down here afterwards but yeah because so i'm gonna duplicate this so i can preserve this part i'm gonna move it to the bottom i'm gonna put the grid up okay let's clear this layer just because i forgot that i made the grid uh beforehand um grid Changes to multiply. I'm gonna keep the lines pretty dark. Um, but I do want the color to pop out a little bit more. So we're gonna put some color back in. I am on the wrong layer. There we go. Because I kind of like the purple a little bit more. Yeah, I think I'm going to do majority of the base colors off screen and I'll come back. Okay, now it's like later in the day. Um, I have majority of the base colors done. I'm going to do a little bit of these shadows and stuff on camera. So June has, like I mentioned, more of a blue. It looks really saturated for you guys. Um, he has a more of like a bluish gray color. I'm not sure why it's so saturated. Well, I'll, like, darken up some areas and stuff and start to really, uh, render everything probably after, because I don't remember how well I did the other ones. I can probably just quickly check. Um... Yeah, 
Yeah, so I left the hair pretty simple. I had to change Wanu's like several time, um, several times just because um, his hair color was a little too like almost um, brassy. So I had to change it to be a little bit darker in some areas and then eventually for Dogyams, as you can see, it was this color. And then eventually I added a little bit more green to tone his down as well. Because his hair also looked a little bit more like orangey. So I decided to tone it down, but I did the majority of the rendering of the hair and stuff um, definitely afterwards because this is what it looked like before and that's what it kind of looks like after. So I'm probably going to do the same thing with the and June's because June's probably needs a lot more fixing in terms of how I drew it. And then I still have to shade in bits of the clothes, which I think will be fun to show you guys since I like to add a lot more like blues, purples, and sometimes more of a beigey brown to white clothing. I love adding kind of like cool and warm colors together. I'm gonna lean it towards closer to purple, just so we can get some darker areas into here. Where his hair will look a little too flat. And then last but not least, I'm gonna add more of a of a yellowy brown or orangish brown to the remainder of this and mixing them together kind of gives you this muddy gray color but we can add a little bit more of this beige into here i just really like this look a lot more instead of just using pure um, blues and purples for the shadows or whatever is your main shadow color which tends to be a cooler version of whatever color you're using and then for the remainder of this I'm actually gonna be a little bit lazy I'm gonna use the multiply blend layer and we're gonna add shadows on top so what I'm gonna do is merge these down oops let's see Okay, before we merge these, actually, let's clean up June's hair and the eight's hair a little bit. Because I have, like, all these lines from, like, the scalp area. Okay. Merge down. We're using the multiply layer to help do the shadows of this. I'm actually going to clip this to the bottom. And we might change the colors a little bit just because I'm not sure if I really want warm shadows throughout the whole thing or if I want cooler shadows, but for now, um, this is what we're going to do. Yeah, I think it looks cute. Okay. So for the most part, I am going to merge this down. I'm actually going to change this to white. So I need to lock this layer. Alpha lock. Change this to white. And then... I think that's about it. So I'm going to unlock this and we're going to start rendering everything now. <laughs> I know it's like I say I treat these like sketches, but I feel like usually for these two, I will go like ham and then the rest of them I will not do too much. But yeah, it's the next day. I decided not to stay up um, just to make it easier on myself. So I decided not to stay up. So we're going to finish this today. We'll see how much I can get done. And yeah. So, where we left off is that I merged all of my layers together, as you can see, except for random eyeball here and the grid, I guess. Okay. So, yeah, we're just gonna start to render. So, I'm using the sharp render brush and we're just going to continue, basically. So, I decided that I would just finish off Venti first so I could listen to the D&D &D campaign. So I'll post, like, I'll post what Venti looks like for you guys to see, because I did finish it. He probably would have been already posted. I posted it on Twitter, like, immediately. But onto Instagram, I probably will post it on Tuesday. So, like, yesterday, I guess, for you guys.
Like I said, I'm not sure how exactly I want to draw June's bangs. They're kind of more like, um, almost like wispy and thin, like all across his forehead, but still parted into two sections, I guess. I really want to draw Kaya. I was telling my brother this earlier, but I feel like I wouldn't be so attached to Kaya if it wasn't for um, my crap rolls in the beginning of Genshin. <laughs> oh, I actually don't know. So June's wearing like a dress shirt, but he also has a t-shirt or some kind of shirt underneath that. Plus the cardigan? I feel like this part of the video, if there's like a lot of like silences because of how I'm cropping these parts of the video, most likely it's because I actually am not talking because I would like to get as much of this done as I can. Okay, so let's start with his face and we'll move to his hair and then do the rest. So I'm doing blue eyes just because I would like it to match closer to Junie's hair. So Jonghan and Wanu, I had more of a probably a red, I think, because I was matching it closer to Jonghan's hair. We're matching this one to June's hair, so. Let's make it blue. I don't really remember which era it was. It might, it might have been Thanks, or like Director's Cut era. There was a time where I drew Date so much just because like his hair and like his features are just from the draw. I guess June had long hair pre-debut though. I forgot. One who had fairly long hair pre-debut as well. It was more like fluffy and I feel like it was like crimped almost. <laughs> oh jeez. I just bought something very self-indulgent, so when it arrives in the mail, I'll show you guys. <laughs> this is something I've wanted for like a while, but I forgot about it until me and my brother had a conversation yesterday about something really dumb. Just a heads up, it is like a plush. Because I like all things round and cute. <laughs> I think I did majority of the clothes off screen because <laughs> I didn't hit record. Um, but let's do the hair and then we can move on. I'm basically taking the blue that I have from June's hair to this side. Gonna add a brighter highlight to here. I might lean it closer to yellow or gold. 
just so we can bring it out from keeping things too monochromatic. So the eight didn't take that much longer, but I feel like the other one should go pretty fast. We'll see. And fix his earrings and then we're gonna move on to the next one. So I'm just gonna follow the order that I drew everything in so we can keep things clean. Bit of a highlight. Did I? Okay, I'm just making sure that I didn't erase June's mole. I think it's important, especially for like, at least for 17 fan artists to make sure to put the moles in the correct places and um, put them in if they have any. Because I think most people draw do Gyan in June with their moles. But obviously I think Jonghan has one on his left side, so on this side. Mingyu has one on his right side, on this side of the cheek. Sungwon has several. I think I need to add these larger chunks like this and I can subtly add color into it because I feel like if I have too many strands it reads too messy Okay, you're gonna fix his earring Outline the rest of his ear Maybe clean up his mouth area Let's work on this Minghao. Little blob in the eye. And back the white. So I'm gonna do like the dark areas first and then we can do the light areas afterwards. I think this is going to be easier to keep simple compared to the other one. Just because this one, um, I feel like there's less things to change. I really need to see if I can find a translation of parts of the live stream because I need to know what he was ranting about. might have been of the game because I think both of them were not having it. This part of the hand. I just want to clean up like the fingers mostly where some of the lines are. I'm gonna leave some of the lines in. I don't really remember what the back of Polaroids look like. It's been like a while since I've had Polaroid taken or taken a Polaroid. This time it turned out really derpy. So again, I'm just separating the hair chunks. I feel like I do this usually if their hair is fairly like um, straight.
I'm also gonna grab the dark color so we can outline his shirt. Usually if I was just like leaving the sketch, I would leave the the light color lines in. But I just feel like it doesn't really fit with how I want these to look. Okay. Do his earring. It's the rest of his ears. I'm gonna try to keep this a little bit cleaner. Over blob shape, whites on the eyes. I want to draw Wanu again. He released something cute on, I think they're Chinese TikTok, I think. Or Weibo. Weibo. They look really cute. Sometimes it's nice to have brush strokes in some areas that look actually like brush strokes, but other times it's a little distracting if all of them look like brush strokes. I'm gonna call these done. They're mostly meant to be sketches. This is definitely more sketchy than my other ones. Um, so I'm actually gonna add the white stroke behind all of them first. but it helps separate these doodles from each other. So you can kind of tell what part of each one of these is on which part, I guess. Because these are together, so... I'm going to put the white stroke. this so you know that this is in the same plane I guess separate these guys I'll help make the tongue hulu thing I might do a little bit of fixing of June so I can make him look a little bit more accurate but I'll do that off screen and maybe not on for this video so if you like to see the final product just head to Twitter or Instagram in a day or so, or I might post this on the same day, so who knows. Okay, so last thing, I'm gonna put calligraphy brush pen. Okay, and June. June, and then put the okay so what I'm gonna do is duplicate this layer I'm gonna put this one underneath hit multiply I am going to alpha lock this pick kind of a dark purple I'm gonna use a different brush on my paintbrush. It's a little bit larger. Go over all the white text. And then we can unalpha lock it. Go to Gaussian Blur. Blur it just ever so slightly so that it exceeds the the white. And then I can put my signature or watermark somewhere. Okay, but yeah, this is the finished product of this sketch page. I might change June a little bit later, but here's a time lapse really quickly. Base colors that I skipped over. That's it. Um, thank you guys very much for watching and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!